Lola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome to another PTCGO match. I found another deck that I enjoy playing, and that is Raichu GX Powerful Spark. And Raichu GX is a 210 HP Stage 1 Pokemon that evolves from the Pokemon mascot, Pikachu. Um... Has powerful spark that does 20 damage times the amount of lightning energy attached to your Pokemon. It's the same attack as you've seen in Darkrai EX that's done well time after time. Um, as Thunder does 30 damage to itself but does 160 damage which is nice. Especially with you throw a choice ban on that. Does 190 knocks out those basic Pokemon GXs for two prizes. And then Voltail GX paralyzes your opponent's active Pokemon and does 120 damage. Sets up that two shot. Now I only have two Raichu GXs, but that's fine. I'm only planning to come out with them once or twice. The deck's kind of centered around Raichu's powerful spark, but that's not where it's it's it shines. It shines because of the Buzz Zap Thunder Electrode. Once during your turn, you may knock this Pokemon out and treat it as two lightning energies attached to one of your lightning Pokemon. Um, so I like Buzz Zap Thunder a lot in this deck. And the great thing about Electrode is it sets up Counter Energy. Now Counter Energy, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, this card, uh, if this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX or EX. This card provides every type of energy, but provides only two of energy at a time. Now, the way that that's useful is you buzz zap thunder, go down in prizes, use your counter energy as two lightning, use your electrode as two lightning, and all of a sudden your powerful spark when you have two lightning energies attached to uh, Raichu is instantly doing amazing numbers so it's kind of like a turbo build you'll be able to put pressure on early on because of the the combination of electrode and counter energy and you have your backup single prize attacker in raikou that thunder lance he is your main target for those counter energies and even possibly your electrodes he's hard to knock out because of that shining body mixed with aether paradise conservation area making him take 50 less damage when he has either an electrode or a lightning energy attached to him which is very very nice bumps his hp basically up to 170 and uh, earlier when I was testing, I was able to two-shot a Salazzle because it had to two-shot me as well. So let's just go in order what the rest of the Pokemon are. We have a Rangaroo because I just recently lost the game by being N down to 1. And if I would have had a Rangaroo on the bench, I wouldn't have died. Which was just crap. I, I shouldn't have lost that game. But he prevents those late game ends. He's also a great counter energy target. And a great max elixir target. And since we have playing both of those, he is a good bench uh, bench hitter, I guess. Bench. He's good for you on the bench. And Psychic is a great secondary attack. You'll see that I even have it on a Lolan Raichu, which offers us free retreat. Um, Psychic is great. Does 20 more damage times the amount of energy on your opponent's Pokemon. It's great for a late game. Like, if they have a bunch of energy on something, knock it down. Uh, we have one Pika draw, Pikachu, uh, other than the 70 HP one, this one seems to be the best, because having that one, uh, ability to draw one card when you need it can very much help. Uh, so I have one Pika draw, Pikachu with a weird face. Uh, one full art, uh, one from Generations that has Nuzzle, Flip a Coin, Paralysis. Uh, if it had 70 HP, this one would clearly be the best. But because it doesn't, this one is. This one's the best with 70 HP. Really the only thing that's making it the best is that 70 HP. Um, Thunder Wave, you flip ahead, you, para you paralyze, which doesn't usually happen. But it's, uh, it's here anyways. That's the promo one from the Pikachu Pink Collection box. I believe it's also in the Giant Shining Legends uh, Ho-Oh Collection thing has the same HP, and I also believe it might be the McDonald's promo. I'm not sure. There's a couple places where you can get the 70 HP one in IRL, but on PTCGO, it's going to be the, uh, it's going to be SM76, and it's going to be, uh, whatever, this one? No, this one? No. 
this one is, which is SM81, I think, which is from the, the Shining Legends uh, big collection box that comes with, like, everything. But I believe also that the McDonald's one and possibly even the cereal box one is the same Pikachu as well, uh, but with different arts. So you could have four different art Pikachu in a deck. But moving on from that, uh, we have the Alolan Raichu, the first decent Alolan Raichu. I kind of just wish it was a Psychic type, but it's an Electric type with Surge Surfer. If there's a Stadium in play, this Pokemon has a no retreat cost. That can really help you when you need to like Guzma around stuff. Uh, having a Lolan Raichu on your bench with the Aether Paradise Conservation Area can really just make it where you have that free retreater. You can always retreat back into your attacker. So that's why Alolan Raichu is actually a really good addition to this deck. Um, and also Psychic does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So if they have 1 energy, you're going to be hitting 90. If they have 2, you're going to be hitting 110. And it just goes up from there. Some of these big hitters in the TCG put a lot of energy down. So Raichu can really punish them. And Raichu is an instant like 1 hit KO on a ho Which is fun. And then the big guy, Mormir, come here. We are calling this the deck the Lord of Lightning, Thor. Um, our hashtag Thor, Lord of Lightning, you know, because he's the God of Thunder, so he's the Lord of Lightning. Um, and plus the way that Raichu's looking, he looks like he's calling upon Moromir, Thor's hammer. So, you know what? Might as well go with it. Uh, I would say that, that Raichu is the closest thing to Thor, and, and when you compare Pokemon to Avengers, of course. Now, unfortunately, we do not have a Hulk in this deck unless you count a Rangaroo, but who knows, unless it's Tapu Lele. I think Tapu Lele would be Valkyrie, though. Hard to say. But moving on, we have Raikou. I think we were playing two of them for that Shining Body, Shining Body Thunder Lance. I had one of the other ones in there, but I took it out to put a Rangaroo in because energy, bringing energy back from the discard, I have Brock's Grit for. Uh, so it's not as necessary to have uh, have the Raikou that brings it back to the uh, thing. And if you're really, if you're doing that, you're really in a bad place. You don't want to be in that situation with this deck. You really just want to come out swinging and overwhelm your opponent early on. That's the point of this deck. We are playing one Tapu Koko. We got the Shining, uh, the shiny Tapu Koko from the uh, collection box here. It's just good if you get stuck in the active. You can just sky high. You can push it down, arrow trail, get into the active sky high claws for a two hit. Or Tapu Thunder is actually one of the better GXs. is the best GX attack in this deck. That can hit for one hit KOs, KOs on these big Pokemon GXs or EXs to be able to uh, take out stuff. Does 50, time, 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponents, all of your opponents' Pokemon. So it doesn't have to be on the active. So facing Volcanion, if they have, all they need to have is four energy on the bench, and you can take out a Volcanion EX, which is, they always have four energy on the bench. So Tapu Thunder is really the best GX attack. You want to use it to hit those big two hit KOs to, to finish off a game. Um, so that's why we have him in here. We have the Voltorb Electrode Buzz at Thunder, which I showed you guys earlier. And then finishing off, I believe we're playing three Tapu Leles. Um, I've been trying it out with two, but it's just it's failing on the consistency side of things. So I had to throw in that, that third Lele just so we can really... We have the best chance of getting Lele first turn with four Ultra Balls, three Lele, so we can get that turn one Bridget. I would like to add a second Bridget, but space is super tight in this deck. It's really hard to figure out what I should cut to be able to uh, add that second Bridget. Uh, honestly, I mean, if you're playing this IRL and you have three Raichu GXs, you could cut the Alolan Raichu. Uh, and cut down an account of Pikachu to make room for that extra Bridget. That might work on the consistency a bit more. But uh, for the cards that I have and my capabilities, this seems to be the best way that I like to play it. But of course, all these decks that I post here are templates. You guys can copy paste them and make them your own. I'm playing two field blowers because we do rely on abilities. We rely on Instruct. We rely on Buzz Zap. Thunder, we, evolve, we rely on Shining Body, so Field Blower is necessary when we're facing a Garbodor. 
and it's also nice to take out Troy's bands and stuff to be able to survive hits. Max Elixir, we only found space for three of them. We want a Max Elixir to get those energies on the board as quickly as possible to be able to boost up Powerful Spark by 20 every Max Elixir that hits. Uh, four Ultra Ball, pretty standard. Three Aether Paradise Conservation Area. I originally had this as an experience share, but I wasn't finding I wasn't using experience share as much. But Aether Paradise Conservation Area really helps with Raikou to let him survive a hit, which makes it really nice. Makes him uh, a two-hit KO for a single prize attacker, which is great. Um, we got one Bridget. Wish it was more, but it's only one. One Brock's Grit to recover. Uh, you know, electrode pieces, anything that goes down early, energies that if we end up spending a lot of energy retreating early on in the game, uh, Brock is good for that uh, retrieval. We were playing three Guzmas, I believe. Yes, three Guzmas, because we want to make sure we're smart when we take out what we take out. We want to make sure we take out uh, things that are going to help us the best in the game like some of the major problems in this uh in this deck is you know you you explode with electrode giving them one prize but then you hit a two prize attacker with that attack and you're up so your counter energies do not work anymore and you have this big guy that hits for half damage now and so it, it, it it's something that you gotta work through but i also like playing it. i'm playing one lusamine which i think is becoming a staple for me personally one Luzamine in every deck because I just love the ability when there's a lull turn. I don't really need anything, but there's some good supporters in my discard that I could use. So I use Luzamine to get back Ends, Guzmas, Sycamores, uh, if there's a Bridget necessary even. So, like, it's really, I really like Luzamine as a recovery card. Um, I'm probably going to be start playing one in every single deck over uh, instead of playing a 4-4 four, four of N and Sycamore I'll probably play a 3-3 three, three and a Luzamine just to save space and be able to fit that extra card in there uh, 4 N, no 3 N I'm playing 3 N because I'm playing the one Luzamine and I'm playing 3 Sycamore because I'm playing the one Luzamine obviously those counts could go up as well for consistency issues but I'm hoping that it remedies itself uh, and I'm playing three choice bands. Yes, three choice bands to be able to boost that uh, damage that Raichu can do. You know, it's 20 per energy, but it's an extra 30 if you throw a choice band on it when you're facing a GX or an EX Pokemon, which is very nice. Um, it also really helps with Raichu hitting numbers. Like, um, Raichu with three lightning is 110. You can hit 140 on an EX with this, or EX or GX with this, which is very nice. And then the other big card is Counter Energy. It provides two Lightning Energies when you're down in prizes. So if you, if you keep it as a close game, Counter Energy is going to be your best friend. But if it's a uh, if you're winning drastically, it's just going to be an energy you throw on Lele or something. Because it counts as one energy on Lele, but it allows it to attack still. Um... Yeah, that's the only problem I found with it is it sometimes becomes useless. And then, finishing out, we have 10 Lightning Energy from Evolutions, because we like Evolution Energies. It looks the best. Let's copy that to the clipboard. Sorry this is taking so long. Let's go ahead and get into a match and see if this deck performs. Uh, I don't want to discard them. I want to save this. I don't know why I jumped like that. Hashtag Lord of Lightning Thor. Mormir, come here. Uh... As Raichu would say. Uh, let's go see. It's there. Go to the versus ladder and try to get a quick match in here. The Lord of Lightning. Let's go ahead and look for that opponent. And see if we have any luck today. Looks like neither one of us has the advantage. He is playing a hullabaloo of a deck though. So let's see. I get to flip the coin. I'm picking tails. But a little right, she's like, hey. So because of that, I get to go second, probably. We're going to start with that Pika Blue. The Pika Draw, Pikachu. But luckily, we will be able to use Pika Draw turn one. And we're facing a Decidueye, but it has Lightning types in it. So what Lightning type would they pair it with? I mean, Decidueye is great as, like, a bench bench hitter, but you don't want to put him in the active. 
So this deck, this looks like it's going to turn out slow starting. So let's go ahead and Pika draw to get another Pikachu. Ultra Ball. I don't think they have a way to knock us out, but I could be wrong. This could be a quick game on my part. Do they have the rare candy though? And the DCE. Oh, they have the DCE. They have the rare candy. That's the game, guys. I'm just going to say that broke my heart. And that's the game. That's all they needed. Rare candy to situate. I had nothing else I could play though. Absolutely nothing else. So let's go ahead and get into another match. Now that we lost to Decidueye. That's the problem with Pika Blue as well. I mean... I have outs. I have outs in the deck. The fact that it all came up that way is just like, why? This looks like, It's very normal Psychic. So you can assume it's a Sylveon deck. Because a Gardevoir would have the Fighting type in there as well. Yes, yeah, so let's go first. I might have better luck that way. I do. Voltorb's a perfect start. While well, I'm waiting for my opponent to choose an active Pokemon, we throw on Pikachu. Nobody else on our bench. We want to keep that Lele in our hand. They're starting comfy. It looks so comfy. Uh, we'll throw the electric energy down there. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and bridge it. Oh, I'm throwing it in the wrong place, that's why. Let's go ahead and uh, there is no Bridget in here right now. So let's grab a supporter for next turn. They don't have anything active. So let's grab a Sycamore. Um, I don't like doing this, but it seems like the best way to get set up right now. Since we do not have what we're looking for. Um, we're going to throw that other Voltorb down. And we're kind of stuck right here. We need to top deck of an Electrode to continue. I'll leave it at that. How am I going to get all my Guzmas right up front? That's ridiculous. They got the Skyla, which means they're not playing Bridget. Skyla for Ultra Ball for Bridget? Is that what they're doing? So they're stuck. Super stuck. Look like they threw out a Curlia. This is a Gardevoir list, though. Gardevoir, no, um... It's a Gardevoir, no, um... I can't think of his name. Gallade. Gardevoir, no Gallade. That's, the, that's what it is. Oh, okay, yes. I can do this and... Hit that Ralts with a powerful spark. Nothing to field blower. Powerful spark. Which is enough damage to take out the Ralts. It's not doesn't necessarily show the power of this deck, but it, it it's definitely gonna get started on this Gardevoir. So that we can get ahead. Alright, they're gonna re Yeah. Alright, so I'm probably going to start another match, but I might cut it short so that I can actually post this on VidMe. Because I'm not great at editing, so I can't just edit a block of stuff and then post it. And it's already running at like 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to play one more match. Uh, it's probably going to cut out in the beginning, but I'm going to see if I can get set up right. So I can kind of show you what I'm trying to do with this deck. Um, everybody seems to be in forefoot mode right now. If they don't feel like they're set up well enough, they're just done. Um, 
I at least stayed until my opponent beat me. But not everyone will do that. Uh, what is the choice here? Because Raikou, I want to throw the Max Elixir on. But uh, I'll put a Rangaroo out front. We're going to see what happens here. Looks like we're going to have to throw a Raichu though. We're playing Froki the Greninja. If I can, I will probably copy this list so I can make a Beedra list off of it, but I think I do have a Greninja list somewhere. They didn't bubble! Oh, we top deck the Bridget! Do we even have water types? We don't have water types, but I like checking. Make sure we have everything in the deck. We have 8 energy, which I think means that 2 are in my hand. So we can bridge it, we can get one Voltorb, a Pikachu, and a Raikou. Well, we don't need to get a Raikou. So we can get Pika Draw, Pikachu, an Electrode, and a Tapu Lele. Um, no. And we will get another Pikachu. Whoa, we have, like, we have two Pikachus prized. Uh, a Voltorb prized. Oh, man, this is going to be an energy prize. I don't usually know what my stuff is, but that is clearly obvious. No! No energy! Um... It's gonna be a way to retreat him. I just don't know what it is yet. Let's put this on Pika Draw. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna end our turn there. We used our Bridget. We can evolve Pika Draw into Raichu next turn and start trying to hit numbers here. But they got the perfect setup as well. It looks like. Well, ours wasn't perfect. Ours was stumbling, but it was it was a setup nonetheless. But they got the perfect Frogadier setup. So that they can Frogadier, do Water Duplicate, three Frogadiers, and hey, they're going to give me some cards. Thank you. I could have used the three cards I had, but I'm glad you're being generous and allowing me to take some cards extra. They got the Evo Soda. Are they going directly... No, the Starmie. I was like, are they going directly into Greninja? They can't. Uh, Evo Soda, they have to be on the, the field for a turn. They got all three of them. None of their Frogadiers prized. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and Max Elixir. Get that uh, Pikachu set up as a Raichu. Um, Choice Band is pointless in this matchup. They're done with that anyway, so we'll just get rid of it for them. Uh, they do have a Tapu Fini, so let's throw the Choice Band onto Raichu. We don't need any specific tools, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's throw that on the Raikou. Man, we did not get an Ultra Ball or anything. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's just keep setting up, I think, uh, once a Rangaru goes down. That counter energy is going to activate. Um, I'm going to keep this bench space open in case I do need a Tapu Lele. But I think I'll be fine right now. I'm just going to wait for their Greninja to take out this Orangaroo. Luckily, they do not have the splash energy on it, so they're not going to get this Greninja back once it goes through. There's the Enhanced Hammer for that counter energy. I'm glad it's going to that, though, because I still have regular energy. Um, oh, there's tools, too. Everything's everything's disappearing, and they're going to end me. Oh, no. <laughs> so we'll be keeping an eye on the clock right now. We're running close to, the, uh, to what I can do, so we, we might just finish this soon. There goes my abilities. That is harshing my vibe. Um, we'll go ahead and throw this counter energy back here. And I think I'm going to sit on it because that ability lock is nasty. It 
Yeah, this is what makes Greninja good. That ability to get a one hit or a one energy attack to either block abilities or get knockouts. I think they're just going to try to block my ability for three turns. Okay, Ultra Ball for another break, right? This is probably the first game Greninja Breaks not like falling behind on first because I just have a Rangaroo stuck in the active. They're going to Shadow Stitch again, which blocks abilities. Yikes. Let's go ahead and evolve that though. Uh, the best thing I can do here is end, but I don't want to end him. But a Rangaroo is going down next turn. And they're going to block abilities again. But I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I got 110 there. They're just going to keep shadow stitching their way to victory. Or so they think victory. Let's go ahead and ultra ball here. I'm going to get out a another Raichu, I think. Oh, I don't have another Raichu. Uh, the Alolan Raichu then. We'll go ahead and evolve that Pikachu so that it's not as easily sniped. And I don't want to end, but I can't instruct either. So we are stuck here right now. I'm not sure who's going to win this, but it's going to come down to uh, whether or not I can break this ability lock. But it's going to be harder to break this one because I don't really have any cards to do it. There, they're going to take out the Raichu. Okay, star me for the two energy. Do you have the two energy? You don't have the energy in your discard pile. That was... That was weird. Why would you bring out my... Right you just to shadow stitch. Okay, that seemed like a bad idea. Just overall a bad idea. Um how much you have? 170? Okay. I think we're just gonna get rid of you right now. Um I'm gonna buzz zap. Attach it to the right shoe. We'll Rangaroo for one. See what it is. It is a Guzma, but we are going to end. We get another counter energy. Oh, but we already played an energy. So let's do this 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. We should be able to have the one hit KO onto this Greninja break with powerful spark. 20 damage times the amount of lightning energy attached to your Pokemon. There it is, 180 because of the counter energy. And we'll take that one prize card, which does us no good. We're going to use that for Feeny, and that's about it. I believe they're going to go for the... Okay, so now they're going to take out the Raichu. Which I'm not worried about, because it throws... It really boosts the Raikou up. There's another Brooklet Hill, but we do have a Greninja break down in the discard pile. Let's see if we can get another one next turn here. That will really slow them down if we can get... Uh, they usually only play about three in a deck, so we're going to keep trying this out. But uh, as you can see, the setup, that's the point of counter energy right there. You blow up your electrode, your counter energy counts as two, and then you can start uh, whittling down. So I want to thank everybody for coming out. I'm going to end this game here. Um, I'll leave I'll leave a comment down there on letting you know if I beat Greninja or not. But thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys Alola. And I hope to see you on the next video. But for now, bye-bye.